The northern and southern hemispheres are shown in the figures. We see more land area in the northern hemisphere whereas in the southern hemisphere we see more water. See the figures which show the eastern and western hemispheres. The eastern hemisphere has more land area whereas the western hemisphere has more area occupied by water. Observe the figure. You will see that the portion of land is not continuous. All the land parts are seen to be pieces of various sizes surrounded by oceans. All the oceans are joined to one another naturally. We can visit all the oceans by sailing in a ship but we will not be able to visit all the continents in a car or a train by taking a land route. Let us begin with the study of oceans. An extensive continuous body of saline water is called an ocean. 71% of the earth's surface is occupied by water. Life began only in the ocean. The water cycle also begins and ends in the ocean. The water we get in the form of rain comes from the ocean in the form of vapor. Because of the continents, the sea water on the surface of the earth is divided into four parts. They are the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. The Indian Ocean. The water body to the south of the Indian subcontinent is known as the Indian Ocean. It has been named after our country. This ocean extends from the southern coast of India up to the continent of Antarctica. The continent of Africa lies to the west of the Indian Ocean and Myanmar, Malaysia, the Indonesian islands and the continent of Australia are to its east. Let us study more about the Pacific Ocean. This is the biggest ocean. About 33% of the Earth's surface is occupied by this ocean. The deepest seabed in the world lies in this ocean. The continents of Asia and Australia are to the west of this ocean. The eastern limit of this ocean is determined by the continents of North and South America. The Atlantic Ocean This ocean extends in the north-south direction. The continents of Europe and Africa are to its east whereas the continents of North and South America are to its west. It stretches up to the continent of Antarctica in the south. The Arctic Ocean lies to its north. The Arctic Ocean. This ocean is in the area surrounding the North Pole. Most of the time, this ocean is in a frozen state. Many times, giant icebergs are seen in this ocean. This is the smallest ocean. It extends south up to the continents of North America, Europe and Asia. It is connected to the Pacific Ocean by the narrow Bering Strait. In winter, the water in this strait is frozen. So, for some time, the continents of Asia and North America get connected. Now we shall study the continents. About 29% of the Earth's surface is occupied by land. An extensive and continuous portion of land is called a continent. There are seven continents as follows. Asia Asia is the biggest of all the continents. This continent extends in all the four hemispheres. The Arctic Ocean is to the north of this continent. The Pacific Ocean is to its east. And the Indian Ocean is to its south. The continent of Asia is connected to two continents. Europe and Africa. Europe and Asia are continuous continents. There is no ocean in between them. 
Because of this continuity, these continents are also referred to as Eurasia. The continents of Asia and Africa are joined by a narrow strip of land called the Sinai Peninsula. Europe The continent of Europe is to the west of Asia. The Mediterranean Sea lies between the continents of Europe and Africa. The Atlantic Ocean is to the west of Europe, whereas the Arctic Ocean is to the north. This continent extends in both the western and eastern hemispheres. The whole of this continent lies in the northern hemisphere. Africa The prime meridian as well as the equator passes through this continent. Hence, this continent stretches in all the four hemispheres. The shape of this continent is triangular. Now we shall learn about North America and South America. The land which is to the west of the Atlantic Ocean is the continent of America. This continuous landmass stretching north-south is considered to form two separate continents. The northern part is the continent of North America and the southern part the continent of South America. Both these continents are joined by the narrow region of Central America. The Pacific Ocean lies to the west of North and South America. Both these continents lie totally in the Western Hemisphere. Australia This continent stretches in the Eastern and Southern Hemispheres. It is surrounded by oceans on all the sides. Find the names of these water bodies on the map. Of the seven continents, Australia is the smallest. Antarctica This continent has been discovered quite recently. This continent is an extensive landmass at the South Pole. It is covered with ice throughout the year. There is no human habitation on this continent. But a few countries, including India, have their research stations there. The shape of the continent of Antarctica is more or less round. This continent, too, is surrounded by oceans on all the sides. Besides the continents, there are many islands of various sizes on the Earth. Generally, these islands are considered a part of the continent near which they lie. But some of the islands, like the Hawaii Islands, are very far from the continents. There have been human habitations since ancient times in the three continents of Asia, Europe and Africa. Many ancient civilizations originated here. Trade, movement of travelers has been going on since ancient times between these three continents. That is why these three continents together are referred to as the Old World or Known World. In comparison, the other four continents have been discovered quite recently, that is, after the 14th century. Hence, these four continents are referred to as the New World.